back. So, welcome from Novogruda Castle, or what's bloody left of the place. Uh, so, this castle was built in the 15th century, and uh, as you can see, the place is absolutely, well, not only deserted, but uh, there's not much of it left because Novogruda Castle, which was quite a extensive big castle, that's one of the towers behind me, well, two of the towers behind me, was completely destroyed by Charles XII of Sweden uh, during the Great uh, Northern War. This was in the early 18th century, but the early 1710s, 1705, 1706. Uh, the Great Northern War was a war fought between uh, Sweden, uh, which controlled pretty much all of Scandinavia at the time, and Russia. Charles XII, of course, he ended up as a loser. And in the, in the process, the Swedes, they completely destroyed what was once an impressive and impregnable castle, Novogrudok. So that's it, guys. This is pretty, pretty much uh, what's left of uh, Charles XII's uh, handiwork. So thank you very much, Charles XII, for uh, destroying this beautiful castle. Small bit of it, guys, is still left. You can see it behind me. Okay, that's the uh, what's left of... Uh, the castle and what they've done here behind me is that they have uh, they have somehow reconstructed part of the battlements one of the towers of the castle or what's left of it okay well they've reconstructed just kind of give you an idea of uh, what it was what it looked like and uh, of course the castle stood right above the, right on a hill above the town of Novogrudok of a Gruduk, built in about 1044, once part of the Grand Duchy of Lithuania. Well, and as you can see here, there's a bit of a drop here below me. Some houses below this, the moat, this is where the moat was, full of water. And as you can see there behind me, you can see some of the old battlements, the walls that once stood here at uh, Novogrudski uh, Zamok, or what's left of it. Must have been really, really an, an, an impressive, an impressive castle. When you look at it, I have to say, it's a glorious Saturday here in uh, Novogrudok. I'm right up on top of this hill, and you can see anything and everything around you. It's absolutely amazing. Okay, nice city, it has to be said. Novogrudok. Wow. Imagine being a Russian uh, soldier on top of this, and the Swedish army laying siege to your castle uh, all right it mustn't have been pretty nice anyway was the what was the, or was the polish army i think it was the russian army okay but novogrudok it's in the uh grodna oblast of uh, western belarus and um up to 1939 it was part of uh, poland the second republic of poland it was the first republic okay but well, the first republic of poland and uh and be as a result of the nazi german uh, Soviet pact, August 1939. This part of Belarus, as you can see behind me, you, Belarus is very flat, plains behind me, all became part of the Belarusian uh, SSR, which, uh, which which was part of the uh, then uh, Soviet Union at the time. So, this is it, guys. As you can see below me, below the uh, the fortifications, well, what's left of the fortifications of uh, Novogrudov Castle, uh, you, the defenders up here must have had a, uh, an almighty view of the surrounding countryside. Many armies passed through this neck of the woods. You know, it's so hard to see why. Very flat, open countryside, and this is up on a hill. So you would have had a great view of uh, the surrounding countryside. Yeah. So anyway, guys, that is Novogruda Castle. All right. Let's go back to the town centre, shall we?